24 17 let's put a difference in here difference just for the fun of it we're going to say home tab font group black white uh center it so then we'll do the average here average for 2022 which is this data control shift down enter and then the difference here's the difference so we're going to have a, a an average you know a little bit different average standard deviation standard standard deviation we're going to say for the population and i'll pick up this data set control shift down and enter so there we have that let's do it again standard deviation for the population this data set control shift down uh holding control backspace there there's our calculation and enter the difference equals this minus this okay and then we've got the median middle point equals the median and we're going to say this data from here control shift down control backspace back up and enter and it's pretty close to the mean that's an indication that the bell curve might give us might be a good tool to use and then we're going to say the median on this one it's going to be this data set control shift down control backspace and enter pretty close to the mean which is usually an indication that the bell curve is something we can use there's the difference between the two and the mode equals the mode single mode and from here on down we got 25 which again is pretty close to the mean another indication that the bell curve might be useful mode single mode here control shift down backspace enter so again that is close to a little little bit further off but still relatively close to the mean so it's an indication that the bell curve might be a tool to use and the difference between those two is zero all right so then i could say okay let's start with our data for for uh, uh 1920 and start to build our our bell curve so we'll build our table to create our bell curve so i'm going to make a small m skinny m i'm going to i need my x's and my p of x's and then these tables are getting in the way again you need to get way out of here get out of here you're in my way like it's like a just like a pet little chihuahua under my feet all the time it's like i'm trying to walk you're trying to kill me this thing's trying to kill me keeps on walking under my foot and then and then they anyways home tab font group black white let's center it now we need to know the starting point so where, where should i start the x's at you might say well if we're talking about averages which we're representing in whole numbers i could just go from zero to 100 because it, you would think that would be the entire spectrum but let's do our our thing where it's usually the four standard deviations so i'm going to say let's do the number of standard deviations let's take it four standard deviations out for both data sets because that will encompass the vast majority of the data so the lower x and then the upper x would then be what the lower x for 1920 would be the mean times the standard deviation or i'm sorry plus the standard deviation times four so standard deviation times four uh minus the mean <laughs> the mean minus the standard deviation times four a four of the standard deviation below all right enter notice it goes below zero which in reality doesn't isn't going to happen because you can't have a negative batting average but i'm going to keep it because once we graph the curve it'll show all of our data points which gives us that kind of double check that we have all of our data in there so i'll keep it there and then we're going to say the upper is going to be equal to the mean plus uh the standard deviation times four enter boom and then let's do on this one this is going to be for 2020 the mean minus the standard deviation times four and this is going to be equal to the mean plus the standard deviation uh times four so there's our upper and uh lower x's 
So let's go down to the lowest x because I want to, and and then up to the highest. So for both of these, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go from five to fifty to fifty-three, so that we have x's that will line up under both data sets. So I'm going to say the x is going to be at negative, let's say negative five. So we're not going to have negative batting averages, but I'm going to I'm going to start it there so that we can so that we cover the whole the whole data set. And then I'm going to go from to negative four, negative three. I'm going to select that group. I'm going to bring it down to 54. So I'm going to put my cursor on the fill handle, take it on down till we get to 54, 50, 54 right there. Boom. I don't need the decimals on this one. Let's go to the home tab, number group, remove the decimals. Get out of here, decimals. You're not needed or welcome in, in this, on these cells. And then we can do our P of X. So this is going to be equal to the norm dot dist tab. The X is going to be this comma, the mean. We're looking at the 1920. So we're picking up this one and not, not the, <laughs> that's the mean. And then F4 to make it absolute, dollar sign before the J and the two, so I can copy it down, comma, the standard deviation. We want this one, F4, dollar sign before the J and the three, comma. Do we want it to be cumulative? No, false or zero, therefore. Closing it up, enter, putting my cursor on it, and we're gonna just double click to, uh, well, let's make it a percent. Home tab, number, percentify, adding some decimals and then i'll put my cursor on the fill handle and double click copying it down so notice all of this data is now selected and adds up to 100 percent because we, we went you know all of the information is kind of within the four standard deviations that's what's kind of nice about picking that up even the negatives because then you get that full uh kind of curve or pretty much the full curve the full data okay so I'm going to stop it here and we'll continue on with this uh, next time building our curve and then uh, doing the same for 2022 and then looking at the differences between them.